I'm Olena Grinyuk and we are recording a new episode of SME Banking Conversations in Krakow. Krakow is the city where Kriv Poland is headquartered. Kriv is the provider of credit information, automation of decision-making processes and recently ESG certification. In a minute, I'm meeting Kamil Goswapski, Senior Key Account Manager at Kriv Poland, to talk about all of that in detail. I'm very glad that we are meeting here in uh, your office in Krakow. So uh, we know each other quite for some time. So please tell our viewers about you and your path to grief. Hi, Olena. So first of all, thank you to, to meet today and host you finally in our new office in, in Krakow because we are here since August last mm -hmm. year. So it's quite a new place for us. And uh, in case of, uh, of my person, I, uh, I joined uh, Kriv uh, last year and I have quite, uh, let's say, strong experience with the financial uh, industry in, in Poland because uh, previous I worked for a corporate company mm -hmm. uh, which provide uh, services also for the uh, financial institutions like banks, insurance, uh, loans, debt collection and leasing. Uh, as well and uh, mm, that company let's say providing uh, mm, the, the services like automation and digitalization back office processes and operation processes and uh, let's say manage of a massive scale the, the data so uh, based on that I let's say gain the experience uh, mm, from the different uh, sectors mm -hmm. and uh, I think that it's also helpful for me to, to better understand and support uh, our customers uh, in Kriv. In Kriv I'm responsible for banking and insurance mm -hmm. uh, industries and that is my uh, core responsibilities and uh, um, I mainly operate with our global solutions like mm -hmm. decision engine, uh, categorization, uh, transactions engines, open banking, and also digital platform to assess and score uh, ESG uh, factors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And of course, I can uh, mention about our core uh, product, uh, CSP, Crypt Solution Platform, which is divided to credit check consumer and credit check business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How many people uh, work now in, uh, in Crypt? Uh, at the moment, uh, in Kriv, uh, we have something about 300 uh, of employees mm -hmm. in and Poland. In Poland, yes, of course. And also, we can uh, divide it because, uh, to be honest, we cooperate as a four entities in Poland, uh, as Kriv, uh, limited company, uh, KB, our uh, national uh, information economic information bureau, mm -hmm. and also Arif. Uh, because we acquire uh, mm -hmm. at the beginning of this year mm -hmm. uh, also ARIF, which is also the Economic Information Bureau, plus uh, additional supporting uh, entity EBS. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Kriv Limited uh, company, we have something about 250 people, mm -hmm. and uh, in ARIF, something about 50 employees. Okay, okay. Let's talk um, about the ESG topic first, because this year you as a CRIF uh, became an ESG certification provider, right? And this topic is becoming extremely important because of two things. First, of course, the regulations, and second, that um, it's becoming uh, a measure of success so that more and more governments, investors and uh, counterparties and even consumers started to demand every business uh, act uh, responsibly. How to be successful uh, in the ESG certification and measurements at that particular stage? So basically, uh, I think that the 
the most important uh, question that we have to ask by, uh, for ourselves is why uh, we need to mm -hmm. certify and uh, and also uh, observe uh, mm -hmm. all the regulations uh, and discussion with, for example, stakeholders. Uh, so I think that uh, the most important for us is to uh, measure uh, our performance on SG because uh, that measuring can uh, provide us the area where we can uh, reduce costs. Also, uh, with good performance of ESG factors, uh, we can, uh, let's say, improve our brand on the market. And uh, on the other hand, we also uh, can be the, the better employer because uh, the new generations, uh, the millennials and uh, Gen Z, mm -hmm. want to uh, work in uh, companies uh, which, let's say, um, have the, the strong uh, capabilities and uh, good performance on uh, sustain sustainable development. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that uh, that is uh, crucial to uh, to reporting and mm -hmm. score ourselves, but also our whole uh, value chain, our uh, chain of uh, partners, customers, and counterparties mm -hmm. to also have some additional knowledge about uh, their performance of ESG. CRIF as a group developed uh, the digital platform called SynSG mm -hmm. to, uh, to evaluate and to score the ESG factors. And uh, we, uh, as a CRIF Poland, uh, launched uh, that solution since uh, beginning of this year. Mm -hmm. And we, we start on production. So we we trying to discuss with the uh, whole financial sector uh, to um, to share that information to uh, collect the data because uh, of fact that uh, at the moment on the market uh, it's uh, let's say the um, the blank area of collecting uh, data of uh, of ESG. Mm -hmm. uh, we we trying to handle it and support uh, all the um, financial uh, industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You as uh, Grief Poland did your first ESG certification this year. How do you evaluate your results and whether business model in the company has changed since that? Of course, we uh, also, as a service provider of uh, ESG scoring and, and rating, we uh, make um, um, we made a certification mm -hmm. by ourselves, and at the moment we uh, have a B uh, score mm -hmm. uh, of ESG uh, factor, mm -hmm. and uh, B uh, is on a scale from A to E, so it's uh, good. Uh, ESG uh, sustainability mm -hmm. development uh, for us, and that is uh, five scale, uh, five point scale uh, mm -hmm. uh, of measuring it. And uh, to be honest, uh, we we have very strong performance in case of business, in case of uh, relation with, with stakeholders uh, and society, and uh, also in the certification of environment. Mm -hmm. But we have some uh, area to improve in space of, for example, uh, certification uh, connected with uh, environment mm -hmm. and uh, also in uh, area of environment uh, in case of energy, uh, energy, water and waste. Mm -hmm. So uh, we implement a couple of actions uh, to, to improve our uh, current uh, status and our current uh, score. Mm -hmm. So we we want to um, better manage the uh, water consumption, uh, also uh, exclude, uh, also including uh, reduce uh, usage of the plastic bottles uh, mm -hmm. in the offices, and uh, also um, we implement some actions to better manage the usage of electricity. Uh, in case of, uh, for example, air conditioning and uh, better manage the lights uh, in the office. So mm -hmm. that is a couple of uh, activities. 
and also um, uh, when we want to improve our performance of certification, we we trying to uh, manage uh, ISO certification because of mm -hmm. course we are uh, let's say compliant with the norms, the standards mm -hmm. of ISO, but to uh, to get the, the formal certification uh, created by the external auditor, we, we have to also uh, implement uh, such processes mm -hmm. uh, in our organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think that uh, financial organizations in Poland, maybe in general here in, uh, in our uh, region, um, except or, um, besides the regulation part, because all of us uh, knows that we that it is becoming obligatory now. It's became obligatory now for the corporations, and it will become obligatory in several years for SMEs. So, except of this um, regulation part, are the financial organizations matured enough to implement some really meaningful actions to implement uh, E and S and G uh, model and strategy? We, as a service provider for, for the banking uh, industry, we observe that uh, there are ideas and some uh, real uh, actions to, to implement the ESG score mm -hmm. and ESG KPIs to, to the uh, scoring models uh, to also improve the whole uh, credit journey for their mm -hmm. customers. And uh, Last uh, year, uh, on December uh, 2022, uh, EBA uh, created the plan uh, for, for the banks how to manage uh, ESG factors in risk uh, management mm -hmm. area. So, so that's why there is an obligation for the banks. And uh, um, the, the main goal is to, uh, for the banks is to uh, receive Information receive the data mm -hmm. uh, for uh, for manage hold the risk process, mm -hmm. but the mm, the biggest issue is uh, the lack of that kind of data on the market because mm -hmm. from the one hand banks have information about uh, themselves uh, from the internal uh, audits, mm -hmm. but also they they have to collect. Uh, data about the counterparties and also yes. customers mm -hmm. to make uh, sure that uh, the um, direct impact uh, mm -hmm. of the bank is measured, but also the indirect impact uh, for the environment mm -hmm. uh, will be measured uh, enough for, mm -hmm. for, for them. For that process. If to talk in more detail about this tracking of ESG data, which I'm sure will be gathered at least, I don't know, as a result of this year. So the next year, some data will be already collected. How exactly ESG data can be integrated into the risk models and how it can be included for a maybe SME banking offer to make it a real competitive advantage? Uh during discussion with, with our uh, customers uh, from the financial uh, industry, we observed that, uh, as I mentioned before, the, the biggest issue is the fact that uh, we don't have enough mm -hmm. knowledge and we don't have enough information about uh, our customers, our, about our uh, counterparties. But, uh, um, for example, CRIV have uh, own uh, digital platform to, to collect uh, that kind of uh, data. To, to measure uh, and uh, create a rating and mm -hmm. score mm -hmm. uh, to, to help uh, the partners uh, collecting mm -hmm. that, that kind of information. And uh, we have uh, certain KPIs that could be included to the risk models. Mm -hmm. And based on it, uh, banks uh, can, for example, uh, include it uh, that uh, KPIs for the risk model for the scoring cards and for example prepare the preference uh, conditions and terms for mm -hmm. the agreements uh, in case of investments and in case of financing financing uh, the, the products mm -hmm. uh, so so I think that uh, um, it's uh, able to uh, use 
uh, that kind of, uh, of data to, let's say, better perform the customers and prepare some additional uh, products and additional services for, mm -hmm. for customers. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your digital platform, which, as you mentioned, combines the credit bureau, economical information, rankings, uh, etc., and helping actually with that for all the financial organizations. Uh, what is new from your side in that area? What are new developments or new projects that you are working at right now? Our portfolio of uh, our service is quite wide uh, because uh, as uh, I, I mentioned before, uh, we have the global solutions, we call it transformation services. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, also we have local solutions uh, okay. to identify and uh, verify the, the private individuals and the business uh, entities. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can uh, put an example uh, about uh, our cooperation in one of the largest corporate bank in the Europe in case of implementing BFM services, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we as Akriv Poland are part of the, the biggest uh, project, uh, the bigger project uh, at the moment, and we are trying to uh, implement our categorization engine mm -hmm. uh, for, for the mobile app uh, for, the, for the bank, and uh, also uh, our uh, entity from our capital group, Kriv Strands, mm -hmm. uh, have uh, Mm, quite a nice uh, tool uh, to uh, manage the, the uh, finance uh, via, for example, SMEs. And uh, based, on, uh, basic, based on it, we can support uh, SMEs companies in case of, uh, um, let's see, tracking the incomes, expenses, mm -hmm. uh, to, to tracking uh, whole process of the cash flow yeah. to, to right. better understand how it works That's and wha idea. what we have uh, capabilities to improve or maybe mm -hmm. what we should avoid uh, during our uh, during our um, financing mm -hmm. so so we have uh, such, uh, such, such such examples mm -hmm. and also uh, at the moment we uh, Mm, we discuss with uh, one of big capital group in Poland, which have the, the bank and also leasing company. Mm -hmm. uh, and we discuss about totally change the approach from the uh, customer, uh, from the product uh, approach to the customer approach mm -hmm. in case of whole uh, loan or origination uh, journey. And uh, also we're trying to support uh, that customer in case of decision engine, in case of workflow, and evaluate and uh, maybe change the um, scorecard. So, mm -hmm. so that, that could be the examples how we can uh, support our customers in case of our products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that uh, yeah, the news about your acquisition of ARIF. Uh, Economic Information Bureau and EBS here in Poland and it means that now you have 50% of the market share, if I can say this, of uh, informational bureaus. Uh, what what uh, does it bring to your customers? Uh, so, of course, I can confirm uh, that at the moment, uh, after the acquisition of the ARIF group, because we have two entities, mm -hmm. ARIF as a Economic Information Bureau and EBS, the, the supporting uh, from the technical perspective mm -hmm. uh, company, uh, we at the moment uh, have the, the half of the market share mm -hmm. uh, of the Economic uh, Information Bureaus in Poland. And uh, we decided uh, for, for that aquarium because of the fact that we, as a CRIF Poland, as a whole capital group, we want to improve uh, our uh, data, we want to improve products that we provide for, for our services, and we mm, are sure uh, that uh, uh, when we, uh, let's say, um, when we want to leverage the uh, mm, the, the our performance, uh, we we need to get additional data, uh, and uh, 
because of the fact that Arif was previously connected with the debt collection mm -hmm. uh, group uh, called Crook, mm -hmm. uh, we, we get uh, additional uh, data for, uh, from the debt collection uh, area and also we uh, get additional uh, customers from the banking, insurance and uh, telco uh, industry as well. And uh, I think that uh, the, the idea uh, of acquisition uh, RF is to uh, try to integrate additional uh, data sources uh, to, to the CRIF uh, platforms, to the CRIF mm -hmm. products, and also get, uh, let's say, uh, additional value for the customers in case of uh, additional data and additional products. Yeah, in one source. In one say. source, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Cameron, for this conversation. Thank you very much, Lena. Thank you.